What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 stiffest WWE wrestlers today. We all know there are some wrestlers that are pretty stiff when they're in the ring. They, you know, they're definitely hard hitting. A few I can think of off the top of my head. Brock Lesnar, definitely stiff. Walter, definitely stiff. Uh, I would say Shinsuke Nakamura, he has that strong style. He He's definitely stiff. Uh, I would even say Sami Zayn has a, a stiff style of wrestling. And to be honest with you, I do like the stiffer style of wrestling. You can put... Um, John Moxley in that category, Brian Danielson in that category. I like stiff style of wrestling because it gives it that more believability. You know, it gives it that more realism. Granted, it can be a lot more dangerous, but I just like that, you know, to see the bruises, the scars, you know, it just lets you know they had a war within the ring. So appreciate all the love and support. Road to ADK, let's check this video out. And pro wrestling, there are a ton of different in-ring styles, over the years, there's been an increase in wrestlers opting for a hard-hitting style of offense. This is known as being stiff in the ring, or can yep. sometimes be referred to as strong, strong style. style. Yep. This style of wrestling is rather physical, and while some say the style is dangerous, it, it's kinda safe. It's about hitting as hard as possible without causing any long-term damage on the opponent in question. This style is popular in Japan, but it's seen an increase in WWE, especially since WWE have allowed their talents to become more experimental in their in-ring work. Join especially us now as WrestleMania looks at like 10 of the NXT, stiffest Black wrestlers in NXT. WWE. Oh, the doubler and tondras. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10, Drew McIntyre. Mm. A former WWE champion, he, Drew McIntyre has, stiff, has always uh, been incredibly stiff from in the ring. For sure. During his initial run in the company, Drew was rather reserved in his offense, but all this changed after a successful run in Impact Wrestling as well as the independent scene. Mm -hmm. When Drew returned to the company in 2017, his in-ring style had completely altered. Drew was now insanely physical in the ring, and this allowed WWE to see him as a legitimate tough guy, as well as someone they could put in a main event position. Drew has admitted in a number of interviews that he prefers this in-ring style. And just <laughs> that is always a funny clip. Dude just sitting there by the Times Keeper area, get blasted by the Clayboy game. That's always a Funny clip. I love that clip. Specific <laughs> preference to wrestle those WWE superstars who match this intensity. Mm -hmm. This likely explains why Drew has had fantastic. Sheamus is very stiff as well. See, he has a stiff move set as well. Stick matches with the likes of Sheamus and Bobby Lashley, mm -hmm. both which have similar in ring styles to the Scottish psychopath. Number nine, Gunther. A very few super. Walter. Superstars in the WWE roster can match the sheer intensity of Gunther, Walter. aka Walter. Gunther is like nothing that WWE has seen oh before. My God. He made his name on being stiff in the ring and delivering some of the most brutal looking offense ever seen in the squared circle. His, it said that his Gunther chops. has the most oh. lethal chops in wrestling, and anyone who has wrestled a former NXT UK champion will be able to support this claim. Now, although Gunther prides oh, himself on hitting my. hard, it's worth noting that Gunther's in-ring style is safe and it makes for compelling viewing as a WWE fan. Since joining Ooh. WWE, Gunther has managed to have classic matches with the yes. likes of Ilya Dragunov, Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. All of these have attempted to match the ferocity of Gunther's offense, which has naturally resulted in some of the stiffest matches in Ooh. NXT history. Max. Number 8, Goldberg. Hmm. Goldberg's reputation for being overly stiff in the ring began in WCW, yep. and this unfortunately yep. continued to his. Yep, this is this is true. Uh, I think he was part of the reason why Bret Hart ended up. He had to retire at one point. I think he was the reason why Bret Hart ended up retiring because he was too stiff. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was the story. That's what happened. His two respective runs in WWE. Goldberg, unlike anyone on this list, doesn't quite pride themselves on being stiff in the ring. That's because most of Goldberg's stiff offense comes from dangerous and reckless accidents in the ring. In WCW, Goldberg notably hit Bret Hart with a stiff kick to the head. There we this go. This would end a promising career for the wrestling legend. Yeah, caught it. Spot on. In WWE, there are a number of examples of Goldberg being stiff that could have resulted in serious injury. The most well-known example yeah, of this is Goldberg's one. infamous match with The Undertaker. Goldberg. 
I wouldn't consider that being stiff. I just, that was error. That was just wrestler not being able to really, you know, protect The Undertaker at the time. Like, he wasn't able to get him all the way over. So, I wouldn't call that being stiff. That was just, that was just error. You know what I'm saying? He, he made a mistake or whatnot. I wouldn't call that just, oh, that was a stiff move. He just, he literally damn near dropped him on his head. I don't think it was intentional. He just couldn't get the full rotation. Stiffness came out of a concussion, but nevertheless, this was an example of where a WWE superstar being stiff in the ring crosses a line and becomes incredibly dangerous. Number seven, Bobby Lashley. Hmm. Similar to Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley returned to WWE back in 2018 with a brand new wrestling style. Lashley was now a successful MMA fighter and his in-ring style incorporated a lot of MMA style moves. Lashley is now extremely physical in the ring, but he's he is. without a doubt one of the safest and reliable superstars on the current roster, having never injured anyone. And this revamped in-ring style made fans draw comparisons between Lashley and Brock Lesnar, and the mm -hmm. two would eventually square off in a dream match at the 2022 Royal Rumble, which Lashley won. The more physical- Even though that match was kind of lackluster, because Bobby Lashley barely got any real offense if you want to be honest here they bobby lashley really didn't look like he he even stood a chance in that match if it wasn't for certain interferences which sucks because i think they could really tell a great story in the ring possibly but they went with the ladder to really promote what's going on with roman but be honest with you the match build up did not live up to the hype between those two in my personal opinion it's okay but i just think bobby lashley he didn't really get the offense he deserved to get within that match. In-ring style for Lashley has been rather successful and has allowed him to wrestle in a way that he feels comfortable with. Since returning to the company in 2018, Lashley has won the title on two separate occasions, mm -hmm. which is a great achievement for the 45-year-old. It is. Number six, Shayna Baszler. Oh Before yeah, Ronda Rousey she's made definitely. Her mark in WWE, Shayna Baszler definitely brought a completely stiff, for different sure. style to the women's division. Shayna was a former MMA fighter and her offense has incorporated a lot of MMA style moves. Shayna is truly a groundbreaking wrestler in the sense that before Shayna was wrestling, there was nobody in the women's division that was wrestling with as much physicality as her. When Shayna began to wrestle in NXT, there was concern with how fans would react to her offense. The NXT fans in particular were fans of her in-ring style yeah. and she didn't win the NXT women's title. However, when Shayna jumped to the main roster in 2020, there were complaints that her stiff in-ring style was boring and this potentially removed plans for Shayna to win a main roster single. Uh, man, I, that, that's bullshit, in my personal opinion. They dropped the ball on her. Now, I believe she was in the women's elimination chamber. She pretty much squashed everybody, <laughs> which I get. But at the same time, like in the sense of her placement in the elimination chamber, the women's elimination chamber that year when she came to the main roster, she should have been the last woman and then destroyed everybody and maybe had somebody really put up a fight. And that's about it. When she went against Becky, I'm thinking Becky got to drop the title here. Because, you know what I'm saying? It, it builds her up as a real viable threat. But they didn't drop the title. They didn't give the title to her. And I think her moveset works. Because she, she comes off as a legit badass. She's been, you know, kind of in boring feuds. Feuds with... Uh, well, what was that? Alexa Bliss and her power gimmick? I, I couldn't stand that. Just It was just it was cringe. You know what I'm saying? I just think she deserves to be a women's champion. She she looks like a dominant person that will kill you. But they, they're not going with it. I, I think it's... I like her style. I just think it's BS. I don't think WWE is really, like, pushing her because she doesn't have the WWE like super feminine look like nah bro she deserves to be a women's champion comment down below let me know if y'all think she should de deserves to be a raw or smackdown's women's champion because i think she does me personally title number five ronda rousey yep that makes sense. when wwe signed ronda rousey in 2018 it was a huge deal ronda was one of the biggest names in mma and pop culture and her involvement in wwe was monumental for the women's division 
Ronda quickly became a full-time talent in WWE, and she would wrestle virtually every WWE superstar in the match with uh, Sasha women's Banks division. was pretty good, too. Ronda was coming into WWE with an MMA and judo background, yeah. which naturally yeah. translated into in-ring work. Whilst Ronda was stiff in the ring, the majority of her offense looked credible and legitimate, and this was seen as something fresh from an in-ring point of view. Other it's just her promos are fucking boring. She needs someone else to talk on the mic because she is not entertaining to listen to. She's so boring. There were a few complaints from the likes of Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax that Ronda was too stiff in the ring, but these comments weren't supported by others who wrestled a former Raw Women's Champion. Ronda's first run in the WWE was well received, and it actually led to her returning to the company in early 2022 for a second run as a babyface. This consequently offered more depth and substance to the WWE's not sparse working. women's division. <laughs> in my opinion, it's just Number like, four, eh, Sheamus. That's common practice for Sheamus to come out Woo! of a match with cuts and bruises all over his body. Yep, that's Sheamus, Sheamus prides himself on working with intensity yep. and physicality. Sheamus likes to view his matches as actual fights. And while this can rub some superstars the wrong way, for the most part, love WWE it. superstars have enjoyed. Sheamus is the workhorse in WWE. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. He, he has, for the most part, pretty good matches. I love his in-ring work. He's very believable in what he does. You know, he's had some lackluster feuds, but he's also had some um, pretty interesting feuds, in my opinion. He, he just works well with a lot of opponents. Honestly, Sheamus, definitely the workhorse in WWE. He, he The unsung hero, for sure. Working with the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus has had an extremely successful career with his style, having worked with top talents such as Randy Orton, Triple H, John Cena, and Daniel Bryan, whilst never holding back to no matter who he's in the ring with. In 2021, Sheamus had a number of intense matches with, with Riddle, Riddle yeah. who was also prone to being stiff in the ring. Riddle would publicly declare that he loved his matches with Sheamus, and he loves what Sheamus brings to the table. Mm -hmm. Number three, Oscar. Oh yeah, you gotta put Oscar high on this 2015 saw the list. arrival of Oscar to WWE. She was a one of the murderer. best ring talents in Japan, and she was bringing a completely different style to WWE. Her offense was physical and stiff. Yep. It was going to be hard for anyone on the WWE roster to yep. match her intensity. Asuka was an NXT standout, and she had an historic NXT women's title reign which brought credibility to the division mm -hmm. as well as the title. When Asuka was called up to the main roster in 2017, she once again found success. And here's the thing about Asuka that I was enjoying what they were doing. I want to say she vacated the title. Nobody beat her for the NXT title. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nobody be here for the NXT title. She gets to the main roster. They continue her win streak on, like, announcing it. She was running through everybody, and they had a pretty good match with her and Charlotte. And what do WWE do? Give the win to Charlotte. Now, is Asuka, like, you know, buried because of that? A little, not at the time, she, caught, she lost a lot of steam because of that loss because that was Yes, I think Oscar should have won that match. I think a lot of us believe Oscar should have beat Charlotte that that WrestleMania uh, that WrestleMania night. But she has regained, uh, you know, regained her steam back from the time she was able to regain the titles. And that's the one thing I can say about Oscar. Oscar, for the for the most part, like they, you know, what I'm saying she's able to like rebuild herself, get people interested in her and i think a lot of people just like to see oscar you know what i'm saying kicking people's asses like it, i think that's just really what it is so i'm can't wait for her to come back because lord knows the division needs her but it's good that she was able to even on after that monumental loss she was still able to have the crowd still care about her if anything the crowd just wanted to see her hold a championship and be one of the top women in the division says Although Asuka kept her in-ring style the same, she was incredibly charismatic, meaning casual WWE fans took to Asuka and made her one of the most popular See? female stars ever. She's Number still two, up there. Shinsuke Nakamura. Knew it. Now, Shinsuke Had Nakamura's nickname list. is the King of Strong, Strong Style, style. Yeah. for good reason. During Nakamura's days in Japan, he attained a reputation for being stiff in the ring. Yep. It would make everything he did look absolutely devastating upon execution. 
This helped Nakamura have some of the most physical matches in Japanese wrestling history, and when Nakamura joined WWE in 2016, the King of Strong Style continued this style against some of the biggest names in WWE history. Yeah. During his WWE run, Nakamura had wrestled the likes of Cena, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and Nakamura has never held back against these opponents. Never. He's given them everything they can handle. And number one, apparently he's supposed to be facing Roman Reigns. I want to say a WrestleMania backlash. Do I think the match will be good? Yes. It's something fresh. Do we honestly think Nakamura is going to win? No. But either way, I think the match will be entertaining. Something fresh we have not seen before. And apparently he was supposed to have this match last year. But something happened. I don't remember. You guys will, will probably remember what I'm talking about. He was supposed to have a match with Roman Reigns. So... Interested to see how the match will play out. That's I'm gonna leave that there. Johnny Knoxville. Anyway, just joking. Number one, Brock Lesnar. Oh yeah. And during Brock Lesnar's first WWE run Super between stiff. 2002 to 2004, his in-ring work looked always great and physical, but it was nothing in comparison to how his in-ring work looked when he returned to WWE in 2012. Lesnar has been an absolute animal in UFC, having been one of the most successful fighters to ever Figured step foot in the one. octagon. Lesnar now incorporated a lot this. of his MMA offense Dub into his wrestling style this. with punches, <laughs> kicks, and takedowns, and submission moves. Lesnar's matches always looked incredibly real and legitimate, and his matches have Jesus. in turn become huge attractions on a WWE match card. Although Lesnar's offense is insanely stiff and it looks like it hurts, Lesnar is actually one of the safest guys on the roster, and there have been no complaints from anyone over the past decade about Lesnar being yeah. unsafe or reckless in the squared circle. But they have it, folks. Ten I think his matches are, you know, they can be entertaining, but at the same time, they, they're really redundant. It's a whole bunch of suplexes. It's a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, pretty much suplexes. <laughs> that's mostly, that's what his match divulges into. Unless he's facing someone with a different, like, more of a, uh, I guess, a smaller opponent. When he's facing smaller opponents, the matches, they flow a little bit better. Uh, his match he had with AJ Styles, uh, fantastic. The match he had with Daniel Bryan, fantastic. The match he had with CM Punk at SummerSlam when they were feuding, fantastic. It wasn't just a whole bunch of suplexes and F fives. It, you know, he's it was he was able to work with those opponents a little bit better, in my opinion. Brock Lesnar can give you a five star match. It just depends on the opponent and their move set because you can get more out of him than just the suplexes, the F5s. That's just my personal opinion. But he is definitely stiff and he has no problem dropping you on your head over and over and over. But hey man, comment down below, let me know who you guys think is the stiffest wrestler of all time in any era. And we're not just talking about now, we can talk about the Attitude Era, maybe somebody you know in the 80s or 70s, doesn't matter what company, who do you feel like is the stiffest wrestler of all time? Like When you saw them in the ring, it's like, God damn, man, he looks like he's legitimately killing this person. Let me know down below, but I appreciate all the love and support. Road 2, ADK, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.